Hi, this is Keely, and we're going to talk about how this bird works. So first, we need to get it going. So we're going to take the bird, and we're going to dunk it in the water, okay? And get it really wet on top. And then it's going to start rocking back and forth. And I'll bring a close-up here in a second to show you that the fluid's moving up through the tube. And when it gets high enough, then it will tilt forward, stick its head in the water, and then go back to rocking. And it just keeps doing that as long as the head gets, gets damp and so that water can evaporate. So let's talk about how this works. Well, so first of all, as the bird moves, the water evaporates off the top. And as it does, it cools the bub on the top, and that causes the vapor on the inside to exert less pressure according to idle gas law. So if the temperature goes down, then the pressure also goes down because we keep roughly the same volume. But that's not the whole trick. What happens is the chemical that's on the inside has a very low vapor pressure and, or, and boiling point. And so what happens is when that cools, it causes some of that vapor to condense, which also lowers the pressure in the top. So there's greater pressure in the bulb at the bottom so it forces some of that fluid up the top until it counterbalances the rotation part here and gets top heavy and dips over into the water. And when it does, the bottom of this tube comes out, allows the vapors to move up and down that tube, equalizing the pressure, the fluid falls all the way back down and the process starts over again. As long as the felt on the top has moisture on it that can evaporate, this will keep going. So that's why you have the water up here. The water level is a little bit low, so it's not touching right now. But as long as that head stays wet and that water can evaporate, this will keep going and going and going. So here you see the fluid go higher and higher as it moves until it counterbalances and dips through. And when it does, let me see if we can get a better picture of that tube in the bottom when it tilts over that tube comes out of that fluid and it's able to equalize the pressure right there and when it does all that fluid comes back into the bottom bulb the top swings water evaporates off of it and then as it does that creates a lower pressure in the top higher pressure in the bottom that pushes that fluid up through the tube until it counterbalances and takes a drink. Okay, so that's basically how this works. It works through the cooling effect of that evaporation, causing low pressure in the top, high pressure in the bottom, pushes that fluid up through the tube until it counterbalances. And when it does, the tube comes out of the water, those vapors are allowed to equalize and everything flows back down, and the whole thing starts over again. All right, thank you. Tune in again, and uh, we'll do some more interactions with some toys and physics. Bye.